what is up guys it's Mikey Tomimo here and welcome to my YouTube channel the most full welcome to my gothic 3 playthrough the playthrough of the Hashishin aka a fucking fly Beliar episode 6 Okara but uh, yeah let's wait for the loading screen and then we're gonna go to Okara to the realm camp and uh, get the things rolling Loading, loading, loading. Now, before I will do anything, I don't have amnesia really. Okay. Um, let me first quickly go to uh, where's oh. I added on shortcut tool to Radic in order to learn a bit about smithing so I can know how to prospect because of the fact that I need a five magical ore for uh, Thoric in return for one of Sobata's slaves which is uh, one of the Hashins in Montera Teach me something about being a smith. Carry on like that. Carry on like that. What do I have to know about mining? There isn't much to know. Swing the pickaxe into the rock and start hacking. But use regular strokes, then you'll get more chunks out of the rock. You don't say, Mr. Cliff. Well, thank you very uh, much. Alright, so let's see, uh, 8 learning points left, how much gold, 2,000. Um, alright, so let's go to Montera. I learned how to prospect, right? Yeah. Like I said, you know, I need prospector for iron ore, sulfur, as well as uh, magic ore. Magic ore primarily for quest related when it comes to Thoric and uh, one of Sobata's slaves. Now, there are three options that you can take. Each path will have a known option, you know, so that all options have been counted in each path. So let's quickly go back to Montera. And uh, let's go to a Belayar Shrine, get Amnesia. So that then we can save up for Bloodlust. Because Bloodlust is quite handy in uh, giant battles um there's supposed to be a shrine here there we go I'm a bit blind sometimes but uh Beliar. Beliar. grant me power over death and destruction So bloodlust is 3,500 gold. I don't have that, so I can't learn it anyways. But that's fine. Now amnesia is handy when you have, uh, you know, done committed crimes, which can happen on random occasions. M most of the time, you know, they happen on not so nice moments. All right, so let's go to. Ah, uh, well, what was the bugger's name again? I do not know. One of the. Uh... Wait a minute. No, oh, no, all right, it's all good, it's all good. Now I cannot handle the animals yet, so I can talk with the bandits. Let me quickly talk with the bandits. Well. Rebels. At least get their bundles of weapons, but I cannot handle the animals yet. Well, maybe I can with poison, but they will run away nevertheless, you know. So 
so it's going to be quite pointless. Hey, you. What are you doing sneaking around? You wouldn't happen to be one of the mercenaries, would you? What? Probably not. Otherwise, you'd have killed me, wouldn't you? Who are you? I'm Mason. I'm a rebel. I've surrounded the stockyard with my people. We're just waiting for the sign to attack. Surrounded? What are you talking about? We rebels are everywhere. You should know. Even if you can't always see us. Anyway, we control the whole valley here. Well, well. What in the world are you planning? First, we'll sort out the livestock. <laughs> Just wait. It'll be fun. What livestock do you want to kill? Well, the fat cows in the stockyard. If the mercenaries don't have anything left to eat, they're bound to give up quickly. I see. I'll take care of the cows in the stockyard. What? Really? That would be fantastic. You'll see. The mercenaries will give up soon once the cattle are dead. We'll see. What about the pigs? They aren't so important. They don't give milk. I see. You are completely nuts. You know that? If you think it's easy to kill the cows, you'd better think again. Those bastards keep a closer eye on their animals than on their purses. Well, we'll see. Who's going to give you the sign to attack? We've planted a spy in Montera. He'll inform us when it's time to strike. You're creeping around like a thief. No, like ninja, sir. Major difference. A thief steal, a ninja steal. But a uh, sneaky style. Alright, so let's uh, go to uh, the slave that wants to run away to Okara. Before I do though, let me check something. So I didn't look at this yet. Well, now I did. Alright, I'll get you out of here. How are you going to do that? Run, I'll follow you. What? Now? Yes, damn it, run! Holy crap! What kind of ingenious plan was that? Run, he said. And like an idiot, I did, too. It worked. You are utterly insane. The mercenaries at the grain farm have other worries. You lunatic! I don't understand. That's enough of that. You want to go to Okara, don't you? Yes. But I'll never make it alone. Okara is awfully far away, and the area is full of dangerous beasts. I'll accompany you to Okara. Run. What? Now? Say, are you trying to mess with me? Run already, you idiot!
just ignore all the animals that are going to try either to try to attack you or uh, Mr. Roofs here. We'll talk later. Take that, rotten beast! Rotten beast indeed. Hey man, you're tough. You're a tough man for a uh, slave. Thank Enos. We made it. All right. You can relax now. Thank you, friend. I will never forget this. Thanks are nice. Rewards are better. Hmm. You can have everything I still own. Here, take it all. This is Okara. Yes, this is it. Wow, 15 man. Well, you're a slave, so you couldn't have had much, but still. A new face. Welcome to Okara. We can use every man here. You're a blacksmith? Smith, cook, prospector, and heaven knows what else. The fewer people we have, the more tasks I need to take over. I need weapons. Hmm. This here is the largest rebel weapons forge in the Midlands. I could certainly sell you something. You need more people? Yes, we do. Badly. Lately, our leader, Roland, has been using up all of our reserves. We can use everyone we can get. Where can I find your leader? Go down into the mine. His cave is down there. I'll get some more people for you. If you know any free humans who would agree to fight for the king, bring them here. Look around Okara and on the farms of Montera. I'm sure there must be some lost souls out there who would agree to come here. Rufus the farmer has a message for you. Very good. He's probably bringing news from Montera. Thanks for getting him here safely, friend. No problem, friend. Show me your weapons.
Let's see if they mind if I quick steal. Creeping around like a thief. You guys mind if I mind here? Oh, don't mind me, fellas. I'm just, uh, you know, mining. Mining like a boss. Creeping around like a thief. I'm looting plants like a boss, good friend. Here it says something about alchemy. Ooh, Ring of Maho. I don't have the ingredients for that. Touche. Stop! Some valuable things have gone missing here. Do you know anything about that? No. We're watching you. All right. Now, do not steal twice unless you have uh, making excuses. Then you can, you know, get this message about twice, and uh, uh, then the third time you're screwed. You know. So if you do not have make excuses, you're screwed on the second time. But if you do, you're screwed on the third. If you have gold or silver, bring it to me. I'll give you a good price for it. What are you doing here? I'm tending this iron mine here. In addition, I'm making sure that we don't sink into poverty despite the difficult situation. I take from the rich and give to the men here. I see. You're a thief and you steal for the rebels. Before the war, I was a simple farmer in Geldern. Today, I collect artifacts. Well, war changes many things. Tell me more about artifacts. These days, the relics of the Ancient Ones have increased tremendously in value. 
Some of them are even said to possess magical abilities. The divine artifacts seem to be the most valuable. They say that the last patrol out of Monterra found one of those things. What is there to be had in Gilder? I haven't been there in a long time, but there's bound to be a couple of fine artifacts lying around. Supposedly, even the helmet of the first paladin is in Geldern. Where can I find your boss? The paladin Roland is sitting in that cave over there. Where is this divine artifact now? Roland sent a reconnaissance patrol to Gotha. They had the artifact with them. The leader of the patrol thought it would help them in the fight. Ask Roland. He can tell you more about it. Thank you, sir. I heard that a new man entered our camp. It is said that he shows promise. Hmm. I see they do not exaggerate. Are you in charge here? I hold Okara together as best I can. It is hellish. Especially since we have already lost more than half our men. What happened to your men? Montera has decimated us. Since the siege by the orcs, we reconnoiter the city. Up to now, the orcs have discovered and destroyed almost all of our outposts. I have sent any men I could spare to find a way to the capital, Vengard. Are you a former paladin? Yes. I was a warrior of the king. Like all my comrades in arms in Gotha, our arrogance was as great as our ignominious defeat at the hands of the orcs. Nevertheless, I still wear my armor with pride. Tell me more about Gotha. Gotha lies in the east, between Faring and Montera. Once, it was the headquarters of the paladins of the land, until it was overrun by the orcs. Today, the dead roam the streets of Gotha. The orc shamans laid a terrible curse on the city. Why haven't you ever attacked Montera? I am afraid we simply waited too long for the opportune moment. What is your plan? We need to contact the king. In order to stay out of the hands of the orcs, he has barricaded himself in the keep of Vengard, the capital. I do not know what Robar is planning. We need a teleporter stone from Gotha in order to find out. The stone takes one directly into the king's capital. Where are the people you sent to find a way to Vengard now? I sent them to Gotha. I believe that was the most foolish thing I have ever done. I have a message from Sanford the warehouse keeper in Montera. It's about time he reported. Well done. We need more people of your stripe. What sort of curse is on Gotha? At first, the battle for Gotha went in our favor, until the orc shamans conjured up that miserable demon. That spawn of hell swept through the streets of Gotha. The monster transformed every honest human into a soulless creature. It was as though hell itself fell upon us. All we could do was flee. Gotha has been lost to us forever. I will take care of Gotha. Don't be a fool. The demon is certainly still there. You had better stay away from him. Let's conquer Montera. Ha! We would not survive a frontal assault, my friend. With these few people, we wouldn't even get through the outer ring of the city. You must find another way to drive the orcs from Montera. Roger Dodger, sir.
Oh wait, why do I go here? I have to come back here later anyways. Oh well, now I'm here. I took your message to Roland. Very good. Hopefully, everything will turn out alright now. Here is your reward. Interesting, so if you complete that one, you instantly fill this one. Oh well. In the end, it's all about making the connections, not completing every city 100%. Um... Alright, so let's find recruits. Now I know that one of the fire mages is near Montara, but uh... I got a proper order for this one. So just give me a couple of minutes here, I will uh, roll the cigarette real quick, and then I uh, will continue. Did you guys hear that? Now I haven't rolled my cigarette yet, but uh, I was like, you know... In this cave, you can find some magic ore deposits. As well as in uh, random chests, but they're random assigned. So if you need magic ore for Thorek, go to this one. So uh, just give me a couple minutes to uh, finish my cigarette and then uh, we'll continue. Let, let's meanwhile talk with this bugger. You look strong. You're just what I need. Looks like you're not all that puny yourself. I'm Randall. I'm a fighter and I want to join the rebels. I was on my way to Akara when I stumbled across this mine. What are your plans? Do you see that cave over there? It contains what must be the richest mine I have ever seen. Boy, you can find everything there. Gold, iron, sulfur. There's just one little problem. What sort of problem? The mine is full of beasts. That's why there isn't anyone else here plundering the mine. But if we join up, we could clean out the mine. What do you think? The rebels in Okara need strong men like you. Yeah, damn, I know that. You really think I would abandon the fat booty in this mine? You're out of your mind. Let's empty the mine. That's what I want to hear. Get ready and follow me. Is it wrong to be smart, guys? You be the judge.
so much for you, filthy beast. Good job, sir. That takes care of that. Another one of those beasts. showed him there so much for you filthy beast one of the uh, mine crawlers is bugged is in the uh, rebel camp I think If I stay close to this area for long enough it will be killed, you know, and then the quest will automatically complete. Otherwise I have to go all the way back to the camp.
see? Good job, Rebels. Good job. I'm not quite sure how many magic ore I needed, but I'm pretty sure it was five. And if I remember correctly, which is the downside, um, I will only get about four. So, well, you know, we'll see. Nothing to be had. Nothing to be had. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had. Nothing more to be had there. Plenty of deposits, that's for sure, but it's good, you know. I can make blanks out of the iron ore, I can exchange the gold ore for gold if needed. Oh, I totally forgot. Oh well, that was a uh, waste of a torch. Or not. Well, did 
I promise too much? Just look at the size of those gold nuggets. The mine is clean. You mean there aren't any more beasts alive to bother us? Very good, boy. Now we can ransack the mine undisturbed. I'll give you 300 gold coins. Will you go to Okara now? All right, I'll go. In the meantime, you keep an eye on our mine. But when I come back, I don't want the whole mine plundered, got it? Sure. Now these are the magic ores that you need. I think it will only give me four, if that is the case. I still need to find one, yep. Which can be a reward in one of uh, a, a random chests, as well as, uh, you know, other ore deposits. there. Nothing to be had there. Alright, so that was one rebel. Let me quickly get a second one which is relatively close before I will go to the next star. Uh, the next part of this episode. Hey stranger, have you got some decent booze for a miner down on his luck? I want to drink myself into oblivion. Here you go, a bottle of booze. Thanks, man. That's just what I need right now. Who are you? I'm a homeless miner. My name is Owen. I lost everything that was near and dear to me in the war. I'm waiting for an orc patrol to scoop me up and send me to work in the mines. I have a better idea than handing you over to the orcs. Yeah? Uh, let's hear it then. Join the rebels. Okara isn't far from here. Okara? Yeah, I know where that is. It's an old iron mine, but I always thought it was blocked up. Okara's mine is still being worked. <laughs> what am I doing sitting around here then? I'll give you this healing potion as thanks. I don't like this stuff anyway. Alright, so that one is done as well. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified on whenever I upload content. Um, which is currently three videos a day. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the second part of this episode where we'll continue searching for brethren to join Okara as well as uh, hopefully find one more magic ore nugget but uh, that remains to be seen so yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in part two of this particular episode and uh, see you guys then oh and uh, by the way guys if you are looking for any other path, whether it's the human orc mercenaries or the rebels, you can find them on my YouTube channel. Anyways, good day to you guys and I hope to see you guys next time.